Does AI make you a bad programmer? Is it true that you lose your skills when you start using all these fancy AI models to write your code? Is it a shame to use AI-generated code in your projects? Or is it the opposite? You become outdated and you miss out if you don't do it. Let's figure out together in this video. I came across one article that provoked mixed feelings in me. And I will leave the link to this article below the video in the description. So the title of this article is Using AI generated code will make you a bad programmer. And it is not a question, it is a statement. And while part of me agrees with some ideas in this article, I still disagree with the general tone of this article, making it sound that AI is some kind of a plague in the software engineering world. The author speaks about the developers who throw AI-generated code in their projects without even understanding what it does and how it works. Yes, I agree it is bad, not just for these people who miss the opportunity to learn new things, but also for their colleagues who have to review this AI-generated nonsense as a proper code. But this problem existed way before AI becomes so popular. Do you remember all these memes about copying and pasting from Stack Overflow? There were always such programmers who copied someone else's code without understanding what it is doing. And the only difference now that large language models are used as a shortcut for this activity. Another idea in this article is that using AI leads to the atrophy of programming skills, skills of writing code from scratch. But does it really matter how much we type? And anyway, IDEs are doing so much for us even without AI. I think that the most important skill for a programmer is to see the whole picture, to understand the context of your project, to understand the data, the relationship and all the stuff that model doesn't know about. And yes, model can write you a function for a bubble sort or sliding window, but it is not the most exciting part of your work anyway and not the most complicated. And even if I ever need to write all these functions, I will Google them first anyway. But I don't really understand the people who rely on AI in bigger tasks, even scaffolding of a project. If it is something more complicated than to-do list, I would prefer to do it myself rather than just spamming model with a long prompt uh, in many iterations before I get what I want. But being able to delegate all the boring and tedious tasks to the AI and free time for more interesting and high-level work, isn't it convenient and brings even more learning opportunities? Of course, this article also talks about programmers being eventually replaced by AI. This is the scary fairy tale I've heard so many times. But so far, honestly, I cannot see how would it happen. Will programmers become just prompt engineers? But you cannot even write a correct prompt without the technical and domain knowledge. Imagine a non-technical person uh, trying to describe what kind of application it wants and then the model just spitting it out magically. No, I don't think this is gonna happen. It is still very hard to communicate even between humans uh, with different backgrounds. Uh, ask any product owner about his communication with the development team and you will see what I mean. Another problem this article touches is the copyright problem. Who owns the AI generated code? But uh, the question is wider. Who owns the code on Stack Overflow? Who owns posts on Reddit? Who owns the knowledge, the knowledge of biology, chemistry, math, any knowledge in this world? So what is the difference if you use large language models or if you just go to the uh, GitHub and use some repository for inspiration? Is it a plagiarism as well? Should we never look at other people's code before we write our own? Of course, I'm not a copyright lawyer and not an ethical philosopher, but I wouldn't worry about it that much. I prefer to look at AI as a global storage of human knowledge that is easily accessible. And I think it would benefit to everyone. Another concern of the author is that you won't be respected as a programmer if you use AI generated code. And again, it depends. Yes, of course, there are people who just don't want to bother and they will just take the first response of the chat GPT, will paste it to the code base without even testing, without understanding how it works, and then they will just open a PR. And 
I have zero respect to these people as well. I don't think that's the right way to do and this is completely unacceptable. But if the person uses LLM to look at the problem from different points of view, to discover different solutions and find the best one, I will respect it. I am a result-oriented person. If someone uses AI tools to deliver the best possible result, I will respect it. And again, it is not so much about AI, it is more about attitude and working ethics. And the author also says, I love to write code. I very much do not love to read, review and generate feedback on other people's code. I feel it. I am the same. I hate code reviews to be honest. And here is where I use AI to help. I use AI to review code. My own code, other people's code, any code. And AI finds things that I could overlook. I ask AI for feedback, I ask AI to suggest improvements and I ask AI to write a documentation for my code, another thing that I don't like to do so much. Yes, it is not always works smoothly and sometimes I have to go over and over to get what I want, but in general it makes my life easier and allows me to focus on things that I love to do. But yeah, even if I am not fully agree with this article, I really appreciate the author's opinion and his sense of humor. And these ideas I partially share and I feel his pain sometimes. We live in a really strange and wonderful times when every day there are so many things that we could only read about in the sci-fi books. Uh, but yeah, we should somehow deal with that and adapt to these new technologies. And I really hope that AI, after all, will benefit humanity and not the opposite. That's my thoughts and I'm really curious to hear what do you guys think? Do you agree with the author and we are all just doomed? Or is there a bright future for us? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos about AI and coding.